All right, so today's video is super, super, super cool. And I think it's one of my favorites. So this is inspired by a website that I have found on the awards website. And I honestly did not think that I will be able to achieve this effect in Elementor. But we did it just a little disclaimer before we start i want to say that you can use this uh, text in uh, two ways either you use it just as a basic text that shows basically like a masking of a video with text on top of it or you can use it with gsap and lenny's because without lenny's this effect doesn't really work when you scroll so you have two options not four you have two options so pick your poison <laughs> let's get into it all right as usual we are going to be adding a container and this container is going to be full width and 100 vh and let's go to style and we want to add the background type as video so we are going to have a video in this container so just go to background type as i said go to video and drop in your video link and as you can see we have this great video playing in our container and in this container we are going to be adding our second container this container basically will have the same characteristics same settings as the main container parent container and it's going to be as you can see on the screen i'm not gonna say because it's obvious you see it all right so this container basically will hold will hold our text so i'm going to go and add a heading and first of all let's make sure that our container has the items aligned to center and let's bring the content to end and as you can see it's here and let's style our text so let's go to style of course let's change this horrendous color I'm going to go to typography and look for the bus. No, you knew whatever that is. And let's set this to 60 REM. This is quite a big text. Let's just change it to say hello. The original, right? And it's coming along, right? Not really quite there, but close to of course i will set this an as an h1 but it's not really that important this is depending on your structure your page structure and everything else so i am also going to give the container that the heading sits in i'm going to give it a color and that is going to be black i will also add our css but first you need to give a class to this container so let's give this a class and we're gonna say video and everything changed because i already have the css in so what i will do now so you can see where to add your css i'm going to go in the parent container go to css and add your code in there so as you can see we have code for the video copy which is the container where the heading is sitting in and we have image container which is the the class on the parent container i know this is a lot but let's move on and you will see so but going back to our parent container i'm going to add here the class of image container for good measure so you can see where you should add it and what i will do now as you have seen at the beginning of the video the image has some kind of grain and the way i figure out how to do that it's not difficult obviously I basically made a noise effect kind of image in Figma and I'm using that so this is what it is and as you can see this is what I have and it is pretty damn cool and let's have a look yes there is something that it's not sitting right and it, that is because I already have the comment out my gsap let's publish now let's have another look this is the plain basic way that this works right so there's something else that i need to do because this is looking a little bit rubbish so let's i'm gonna go just give this a minus 90 you don't have to do this but this is the way that my thing works here 
All right, so this is what we are having, right? And what we can do at this point is let's give this heading more padding top and maybe this would be okay. All right, so let's add something else in here. Okay, so let's activate our GSAP and let's see what happens. So, and obviously you will have to add an HTML widget to your page at the bottom basically and just copy paste this code and make sure that you replace the class the image container class which is the main container the parent container and add the selector which is the video so this is a non-negotiable for this to work all right let's go and publish and let's go and see how this works and as you can see, there's a little bit of a problem because we need to activate our Lenis. So this works again with Lenis as smooth scrolling. And let's go to Elementor. Oh, oops. Let me go to custom code. And my Lenis is here. Oops. All right. So activate, update. And let's go back to our page. All right. As you can see, we have a little issue here where when we're scrolling, we don't see the video anymore and we kind of have a, a preview of the background of the container. So what we need to do is basically play with the top margin. So I'm going to set this to 200. Of course, this will depend where you decide to have this effect show. If it's on the hero section, you could do what I'm doing, depending, of course, again, on the structure of your hero section. So as you can see, nothing is happening now. I mean, nothing bad is happening now. So as you can see, this is how it works. It's pretty cool, right? very 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 easy to do all right let me add something else i have something to add to this page my templates so i will insert this apply okay let's set this a little bit because it's not sitting right here maybe here let's publish let's have a look i think i need to have some changes to it yes definitely <laughs> all right let's bring it down a notch hmm. all right publish and let's have a look again. anyway you get it there you have it more or less this is something that would really make any website more interesting so think of things like this to for example this would have been such a boring website or hero section if we didn't have this layout so always think a little bit outside of the box break the rules but still apply the rules but color outside of the lines how they say <laughs> anyway i'm babbling so this is how it's working and if you were wondering if this is working on mobile it is working let's go to this one because this one has settings for mobile all right so let's see where are you and as you can see i made it pretty small for mobile i mean it is up to you of course as always it's your choice so yeah look at that you just have to make sure that you adjust the text that's it the the heading size nothing else there you go if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time Bye.